Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to get the list of the installed apps in your Android app. So let's begin. So we will create a very simple layout as usual. So I can name it as inst install apps list. So you can name this app anything. So just click finish and wait for the ID to load up. Once the ID loads up, it will come like this. So we'll first and foremost design our uh, layout. Uh, the default text view probably I will keep it as it is. I'll use this to get the status of the apps or the number of apps which are installed, something like that. And probably I'll just put this as a view status. Again, you can name this ID anything, but we will refer to this ID in our Java code. To trigger uh, the access, we'll use this button. We can name this button as get list or get install apps. Perfect. And I'll add the constraints to it. Okay. And I will also have to add on click attribute, but that I will do a bit later. Before that, I'll just add a list view. So list view, the advantage I'll get is the it will be uh, I can scroll and I can just put the, my list whatever I will get in the Java code into this. So I'll just uh, bring this in the middle so that yeah. Okay, perfect. And now I'll put the constraint for this list view. And what else? Probably I'll put an ID list view install apps. I think in terms of my design, I'm done. There is just one warning and I'll just fix it. Perfect. Now I move to the Java code. Uh, before I do anything in the Java code, I'll quickly first define my uh, method for the button. So I can name this method anything. So I'll just name as button get install app list. I know it's, it, it, the name has become pretty long. Uh, so you can choose to give any name, but I just wanted to demonstrate that what is this method all about and Coming back to here in the design. I'll just set this on click attribute over here So that this button gets associated to the right uh, Method in the Java code perfect now before I start just quickly create my local variables or the class variables which will point out to the respective widgets in the layout so one was the list uh, text view and the other one was the list view. List view probably apps installed. Uh, I know, I mean, the names are becoming a bit long, but sometimes helps when you have a complicated uh, program to understand what is which variable pointing to. And yes, perfect. The second one is list view equal to find view by id r dot id dot list view installed apps. Yeah. So once we have this variables created, now I think our job uh, starts over here. And first and foremost is we should get the list of the installed apps. So for that, what we'll do is we'll just create a list. And in the list, uh, we'll have this of that application info. So there are multiple ways. So I'm just trying to show one of the way. And you can name this variable anything. Probably I'll just name it as list application info. And this I will use this variable or assign this variable using this get package manager dot get installed applications and over here you can in the terms of flags you can put either zero or you can even use a, a constant values get metadata yeah it's same so you, you can either put zero also that's that's perfectly fine once we have it then we will create a string array probably which will contain the list uh, one by one and this is what we will use to display in our list view and this will be of the size uh, probably of this one yes so whatever my list my package uh, info this get package uh, manager and install apps this package manager returns it will return the list of the packages which are installed to this particular variable and that's what we will be using over here okay Perfect. So once we have it, then we can probably use the uh, for loop. Before for loop, probably one more thing I'll do is quickly uh, create an index variable. You will get to know why I have created this uh, shortly. And in this for loop, what I'll do is I'll just one by one extract the application info from this list. Uh, so this is a list, but I will extract each and every element 
of this list perfect and now i will assign this to the uh, my uh, array string uh, list array and this will be pretty much simple application info dot get so not get package name it will i think package name is perfect and that's all and i think we have to increase the index because it will be iterating through and uh, yeah and it will make sure that uh, one by one all the uh, uh, package name are stored in this array so and now once done this now we use our list view uh, and over here we can assign or put the values on this particular list view so list view dot set adapter but before that probably i'll just move this a little bit up so that i can visualize it yes perfect and then set adapter and in this set adapter we can use this new array adapter and this will be of type uh, string of course and then we can start like main activity dot this and what else probably we can have our android dot r dot layout dot uh yeah we can put simple uh, list item and what else we will have the final value as the uh, string which we want to display which is our string list yes perfect okay so once done this i think this will take you of the list or the all the package names but we will also use our text view status to display say for example we will use it to display the number of apps which are installed or which are found so we can just use the size of this and says that uh, these are the number of apps found so uh, this many apps are installed or something i mean you can use anything over here but it's just like a kind of a status which will give you that okay this many apps are installed or found on your phone i don't want to make it lengthy but that's all and now i will uh, uh, start it in the emulator this app and we'll see how it turns up so my emulator has come up i will just probably put them side by side and if i click here perfect so now i can see there are like 198 apps i installed on my phone and here in the list view i'm getting the list of all the apps installed i can scroll so this is a scrollable list of course that's why i use list view and not other things something like uh, text view or something and yeah that's all so i pretty much wanted to show that it's pretty much simple you have to just use this get package manager to get the list and you can display it using something like a, a Okay, I'll just make it big, something like a list view over here. And yeah, that's all. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.